Hello, this is Mr. Tipton, and we are back talking about squares, cubes, and roots today. We've heard of square roots, maybe we've heard of cube roots. Um, hopefully we've heard of things like perfect squares and perfect cubes. Uh, that's what we're talking about today, making sure we understand what all of that is. Perfect squares are actually pretty easy, and you're probably already familiar with them. Perfect squares are the squares of whole numbers. So I've written down a few of them here. We know that 1 squared means 1 times 1, which is 1. We know that 2 squared means 2 times 2, which is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. Okay, you get the idea. Now, I've written down 13 squared, 14 squared, and 15 squared because I want to make sure that you memorize three more numbers. I know you already know 12, 12 squared. 12 times 12 is 144, but I'd like you to go ahead and memorize three more numbers, please. 13 squared is 169, 14 squared is 196, and 15 squared is 225. When we talk about taking the square root of something, we're going to use what's called a radical sign. Radical. Alright, it's like a check mark with a line over it. And so if we saw the radical symbol with 49 underneath it, we would say this is the square root of 49, or what is the square root of 49? What times itself equals 49? 7. Alright, so this symbol is called a radical, and that's what we use um, when we want to have square roots, or cube roots, or fourth roots, any of those. Square root of 100 is equal to 10. Alright, so those are squares. Perfect squares and square roots. Here is a list of the perfect cubes through a thousand. Okay, I kind of did here what I did on the first screen. One cubed means one to the third power. One times one times one is one. Two to the third power. Two cubed. Two times two times two is eight. Not six, is eight. Three to the third is 27. Four to the third is 64, and so on. Now a cubed root, we'd use the radical symbol, but when you see a cubed root, you see a little 3 in the check mark spot. So what this is, is what is the cubed root of 512, which is 8. What is the cubed root of 64? It's 4. Okay, I asked you to memorize 13 squared, 14 squared, and 15 squared. You need to memorize the first 10 pu perfect cubes as well. Okay, 1, 8, 27, 64, 125, 216, 343, 512, 729, 1000. Get them all, please. Moving on, um, just want to look at uh, solving equations that have... Um, that have exponents in them. Over here on the left we know how to do this. When we want to get x by itself and we've got this positive 3 with it, we subtract 3. And what you do to one side, you do to the other side, leaves us with x is equal to 7. But what do we do when it's x squared? Alright, when we had a positive 3 we had to do the opposite, which was negative 3. But how do we do the opposite of x squared? Well, from what we just talked about. By taking the square root of both sides. The square root of x squared is x. And the square root of 81 is 9. Same principle applies if it's x to the third power. I don't care what x to the third power is. I want to know what x is. So I'm going to find the cubed root of x cubed, which is x. And what I do to one side, I must do to the other side. 
the cubed root of 343 is 7. All right, so a few things we need to make sure we understand from this video. need to know the first 15 perfect squares. need to make sure we know what a radical is and how to write square roots, how to find them. Uh, we need to make sure we know the first 10 perfect cubes and what a cubed root looks like. And last, we need to make sure we understand how to solve an equation that either has x squared or x cubed in it because we just want x. If you have questions about anything that you've seen today, write them down. Be ready to talk about them in class. See you soon.